Hello YouTube, this is One Leg Prepper, and uh, I wanted to talk to the uh, young men who are dating. Or if you know someone who's a young man who's dating. Uh, I just recently got back into the dating game within six months, and... A lot of responsibility to be had. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is uh, the movie The Empire Strikes Back. Where uh, Luke Skywalker comes to uh, Cloud City. And Princess Leia is being moved along. And she yells uh, to Luke, don't Luke, it's a trap. Well, guys, I want to talk to you about the uh, traps that are set for you. Unfortunately, we live in a world where um, sexual sin is considered the norm and it is not so um I want to tell you uh, I want to recap my uh, the problems with dating video I shot a few weeks ago number one in relationships words become lies let your yeses mean yes, and your noes mean no. Do not lie. Do not lie to a young lady to get something that doesn't belong to you yet. When you put the ring on her finger, and you get married, then that belongs to you. But until then, it is not your place. Number two, when you tell somebody you love them, it's not just a word you say. It has to be an all-encompassing feeling. You can literally not breathe without them. Love is a feeling. Love is an all-encompassing feeling. And you need to uh, be honest with your future wife. And number three, condoms and birth control are usually a mask for immaturity. You should not be uh, participating in um, intimacy before marriage. Because intimacy in marriage is to do one thing, produce offspring. And if there's a fear of having a baby, the maturity is not there to be intimate. So get over your fears and do it right. Now let's get to the uh, I have a girlfriend trap. When your girlfriend slash fiance asks you if XYZ woman over there is uh, pretty, the best response you can honestly tell her and coming from the heart is, what lady? And um, number uh, two uh, ladies, don't ask this of your man. You picked her out. 
You already know she's probably what you consider prettier than you. Shame on you. Naughty, naughty. So, uh, men, when it comes to your wife and your fiance, your focus is on her. Number, uh, two. There are some times in a relationship where it's okay to lie. A little fib won't get you in trouble. Now let me be clear on this. What I'm talking about is when your wife or girlfriend asks you, does XYZ outfit make my butt look big? Your answer is always no. That's the only time it's okay to fib. Because if you say yes, I guarantee you, you will not want the ramification. So, uh... And another good piece of advice is, once a week, have a date night with your girlfriend, and especially your wife. Never stop dating. You love each other, and you need to invest time in each other. We need to be, um, we need to be caring, we need to be investing in each other. Read the Bible together. Read marriage books together. Do things together. Have coffee together. In my household, we have a special uh, coffee mug that when it comes time, we always make hot beverages. And we sit down and we have coffee time and we talk over our problems. If you can sit down and talk over your problems, you will be far better off than about 90% of the marriages out there. I forget who Bear says this, but the uh, rectangle, the um, uh, Bermuda rectangle of death that we all carry on our pocket that I'm speaking to you, you on right now controls our world. Going around in my wheelchair, people tend not to notice you, but I watch people. One time I was in a pharmacy a few weeks ago and there were six of us there. And we were all waiting for a prescription. And um, five of the six people, not including, uh, I wasn't because it bothered me, were on their cell phones texting or doing something. We've become too dependent upon um, our cell phones. We don't talk anymore. We need to talk more. People are a social being. 
and we need to talk to one another. Well, YouTube, as of right now, that's all I have. So, as always, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is One Legged Prepper saying God bless. And this is One Legged Prepper saying, I'm out of here.